This is Gliese 581d. It's a large, rocky, Earth-like planet, the nearest known. It's just possible that this world, or one like it, could in the future become home to the human race, a second sanctuary against the unforgiving blackness of space. Discovered in 2007, it's seven times bigger than Earth. It orbits a star smaller and redder than our own, but it lies at just the right distance from its sun to allow water to exist on the surface. But even if this is the perfect home away from home, there is a fundamental problem we will have to overcome. Gliese is a very, very long way away. More than 20 light years from Earth. That's 120 trillion miles. To get some idea of this extraordinary distance and the challenge it presents, I'm going to imagine that we could hitch a ride on the fastest man-made object in existence. Voyager 1 was launched in 1977. Now over 30 years old, it's traveled more than 13 billion miles. Its mission so far has taken it to Jupiter and Saturn By using their gravity to boost its speed, the little spacecraft has entered the record books. It might not look fast, but Voyager is racing through space at 11 miles a second. On Earth, 11 miles a second looks like this. It's 39,000 miles an hour. At this speed, we could circle the globe one and a half times in an hour. So how long would it take a spaceship traveling at Voyager's speed to get to the nearest Earth-like planet, Gliese? The answer reveals the true scale of the cosmos. For even traveling at 11 miles a second, the journey to Gliese would still take over 350,000 years. I think we have a chance to become a lasting part of the ever-changing universe and to discover what other wonders it might hold. But to do this, we will have to develop new technology on an enormous scale. And that's going to take some serious engineering. There are many in the field of cosmology who believe, as I do, that finding ways to travel great distances will be essential to keeping humankind alive in an aging universe. If we could build a machine capable of traveling to other solar systems, we'd open up a fascinating possibility. The survival of the human race for billions of years. Present-day engineers have begun thinking about the principles of building such a ship. This is what it might look like. It could use atomic energy, or perhaps more exotic fuels such as antimatter, supplying it with enormous amounts of power. Yet I think the main challenges